Ah, oh, gosh, Angel's a handful. So is Alistair. Mm. Hmm? Yes, Wolfie? Why, hello, Miss Vaggy. Hello, what are you up to? Nothing, I just thought you looked kind of tense, and maybe you'd like a neck massage or a shoulder massage? You seem kind of tense. <sighs> Alright, what are you plotting, Wolfie? You seem too nice today. Nothing, I just thought you can use a massage. I mean, you did save me from angel dust, so I'm just trying to be nice. Hmm, my mom to you, though. Is this your way of getting more muffins? Hmm. While I would appreciate muffins, I'm just trying to show my appreciation. Sometimes that appreciation comes with a price. What are you planning? Look, I'm grateful that you saved me from the, the porn star. Now, would you just sit back and relax here? Feel every piece of this paw work. Are you trying to scratch me? Did Nifty file your nails? No, my tr my claws are retracted. Don't you don't you feel that on your shoulders? Feel Ooh. every piece of this massage. Ooh, that. Uh, See, you've been working. You, oh yeah, keep going. That. Oh, wow. You've been working way too hard, and it's about time somebody took care of you for a bit. Doesn't Charlie give you back rubs, or do you give her back rubs? It depends. We're both tired trying to run this hotel, trying to find demons who would want to be in it. But then after the whole fiasco with Angel and with Katie Killjoy, uh, it's been tough. It's been tough. Uh, we try to give each other support, that's all. But yeah, keep going. Those fluffy paws are good. Oh, oh Dios mio. There you go. See? I think, I think you are overworked, and I think it's high time somebody took care of you. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You take care of Charlie, and I'll take care of you. Mm, and then the two mistresses take care of you. Not a bad deal, actually. Yeah, I think I might like that. Um, so how about we seal the deal with you taking this collar off me? <laughs> mm, did I hear that right? Did I hear that right? I, I just think that, you know, since we're making a deal and all, um, as a show of good faith, you could maybe take the collar off? Possibly? Eh? And what guarantee do I have that you won't escape? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like I can go anywhere anyway. I mean, we're stuck in hell, so where am I gonna go? I don't know. You may try to play with Cerberus, you may try to... Walk off and find Luna. Mm. Well, um, I can't make any promises, but, you know, feel every piece of this massage. Mm, yeah, I'm feeling it, and, oh, that feels good, but not enough to remove the collar. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Veggie. Come on, you know I've been a good boy. Mm, you've been a good boy. That's why Charlie gave you muffins. Yeah, so just... See? Fair reward. Muffins. I still need the collar for discipline, just in case. You know, some pets have slip-ups. But I've been really good. Shh, some pets have slip-ups. And that collar is insurance. Don't you think? Ugh. Now, come on, get back to it. That was a really good massage. No. I don't want- I don't want to anymore. You killed the mood. Oh, I killed the mood? Is it- is it bedtime then? Shall I tuck you in bed then? Hmm? It's pretty late. No, I don't- I- I will tuck myself in. I could call Angel to tuck you in. You wouldn't. Oh, I would. <sighs> Come on, let me tuck you in bed. Come on. Come on, little furball. Come on. Come on, let me lift you up. God, why do- why do people pick me up? Seriously! Because you're tiny, and plus, like I said before, you have really nice, soft, fluffy fur. <sighs> Let me nuzzle again. No! Mm -hmm. uh, God, uh, come on! <sighs> I told you those places are oh. sensitive! It's my way of showing affection to you, Wolf, so just let me nuzzle for a bit. <gasps> oh. uh, I swear, you're just like Charlie. Oh my, call me. Well, 
I am kind of like Charlie, but the more spicy Latina version. So here you go. Nice and warm and toasty in a cute little bed. Don't you like the design Charlie gave you? That's cute, isn't it? Yay, I get my own bed. Wow. I'm so happy. Is that sarcasm I hear? No, ma'am. So what do you say? What do you say about this cute design that Charlie gave you? I absolutely love it, Miss Vaggy. There you go. Now how about I tell you a really short bedtime story, hmm, little wolf? While I try to rub your ears so you would sleep? <sighs> Fine. Now, it's your turn to feel relaxed. Feel me rubbing your ears nice and softly that you'll forget about even thinking about removing the collar. But I want to remove the collar. No, you don't. That's just your fantasy. You actually want to stay here, right, Wolf? No, I don't want to stay here. You do want to stay here. Listen to Miss Faggy's voice. You want to stay here. Because it's fun here. I, I really, really don't. Yes, you do. No, you know, I the don't. Bu Ow. The button's always in my pocket. We don't want- I don't want to fry you to sleep. You're kind of rubbing too hard! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. How about a little- I'll, I'll give you soft head pats. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, now was it? No, Miss Maggie. See this remote? It's just right here. I could press it at any time. Please don't. Right, now. Once upon a time, close your eyes, yes. and just feel my hand, giving you soft rubs, giving you a little tickle here and there. Once upon a time, there was this fluffy blue wolf. The princess of hell absolutely adored him. So, with her kind heart, she took him home and made him her lovely an adorable pet. This wolf serves two mistresses, Princess of Hell and a spicy Latina. And this wolf is very obedient, does not plan to escape ever. He gets muffins or else he gets saps and possibly being smashed by some God-awful prostitute named Angel. Isn't that a nice story? <laughs> now sweet dreams, little wolf. <laughs>